Hello, this is Dean Karstens and this is Dean's N-Scale Trainings. Today I'm going to do another video in the Conejos Valley Railroad series. This is the Conejos Valley Reel layout. So today in this video, I'm going to continue with the scenery on the uh, Conejos Valley Railroad. I've added two sky blue backboards, one behind and one on the right hand side of the railroad, and two fascia boards, the front one and the left one. These were painted black on the outside. I finished all the base scenery, ground cover, small bushes and trees for the entire layout. I built a multi-layer riverbed and finally I've finished and installed the waterfalls. So let's get started with the sky blue backboards and the two fascia boards. For the sky I've found an old can of almost full white paint and I added to it two ounces of dark blue apple barrel, apple barrel paint. This is the scenery background with some blue sky. Eventually I'll put in some clouds. Let's go look at the this back. The back. You can see the hole where I can get have access to the background track. board. Again, painted blue, no clouds yet. As you can see, it's pretty much finished. There are places for the electronics, a couple of switch machine activators. discuss my basic scenery techniques before I use dilute diluted Elmer's glue or white glue fine turf earth from scenic woodland scenic fine turf yellow grass from woodland scenic a little bit of green from woodland scenic these are just smaller containers of my two main materials. I'm also playing around with various things. This happens to be ground basil from my dried and ground basil. It gives a slightly more interesting green tone. So I'm using that, seeing how that works out. So I've scenic up to here, continuing. I just slip on the slip on the um, diluted scenic cement. As you can see, I'm protecting the grass, the, the track here. But I will ballast the roadbed later, so it will make the interface a little bit a little prettier, a little bit prettier. So, starting with the earth. I'm using this old coffee grinder. I've got some uh, dark green clump foliage from Woodland Scenic here. I'm going to try to break it down. Yeah, that's much nicer. I've already got some uh, light green. I'll spread some of this dark green. I 
And I see along the river's edge. You see more growth. Put down some light green. And then I'll lock this in with Here's the red riverbed with the original layer on the left hand side. I built up three successively higher layers using quarter inch styrofoam. This will allow me to have rapids along the river. I then covered the riverbed with two layers of plaster cloth and painted it. So I'm ready to start installing the waterfall. Yesterday, make sure you can see that, I poured a, some uh, Elmer's glue onto wax paper and let it dry. As you can see, I hope, it's fairly translucent, but flexible. So I need to adjust it, cut it so it'll fit here. I poured this, where I've Finish this off with white uh, plaster. Before I poured the river up here, this is uh, Elmer's glue that's dried. Two or three coats of Elmer's glue. So let me start trimming this. That's not too bad. So before I install this, I want to give it a little bit more body. Okay, this is the uh, waterfall. It's a couple of levels, a couple of layers of PVA. And you see I've put in some uh, structure there with the the uh, horizontal, the falling lines. And I've also dry brushed this with white paint. So, and I will probably have to do something else, maybe dry brush with black paint to give some structure to this. So to stick this in place, it needs to bend. And this stuff bends, sort of like taffy. And I'm going to hot glue it. Clean the hot glue. 
It just comes right off the... Uh, off the river here. And I hope it... hope this thing sticks. some more hot glue. And hold that while it cools. I will have to uh, touch up the edges with some more glue, some more Elmer's, but I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to work on the river. This is two or three levels, two or three layers of Elmer's put down and allowed to dry. Got a bit of a problem with bubbles. Don't quite, I think I'm going to try to cover those up. You can see the edge of the uh, waterfall there. What I'm going to do is see if I can't blend that in. And here's what it looks like when everything's dry. As always, if you'd enjoyed this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, Dean's N-Scale Trains, and please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.